Hello everyone, welcome to Trauma. Trauma is an adventure game developed as part of a thesis project, and it takes place inside the mind of a woman who has been in a car crash and is unconscious. Trauma is available to play for free in your browser on the official website, or you can purchase the higher quality downloadable version from also the official website from Steam, from Desora, and it's also available for iOS. So in other words, you can get it many different ways. I'll have links to all of that in the description. So as always, I like to think about and kind of analyze the games that I play. So I'll probably be doing that throughout and especially towards the end. It's, um, I heard about this game a while ago, years ago, I think. Yeah, at least a year or two ago. And it seemed interesting. And then unfortunately, it's one of those games that I just forgot to bookmark and I just completely forgot about. And I don't think it's been particularly uh, popular. Like it certainly wasn't a blockbuster, so it kind of just fell off the radar and kind of I guess, disappeared into the past. But it is an interesting seeming game, and I've played a couple minutes of it, and I'm once again intrigued. So let's delve into it. There is an intro, there's an intro video, which plays when you first start up a game, and I can also play it by going to the movie gallery here, Intro the Accident. So that is what led to her being hospitalized. So one interesting thing about the game that you will notice very quickly is that it uses a ton of real-world footage and pictures. Which you'll see in just a second, so let's play the introduction video. The Accident Dreams are always the same. Now that things are changing, changing. So there it is. I really like the introduction. It's strange to see to see real life footage used in a game. It's not something I often see. But I think it's well done here, and I just really like the introduction. I really do. It's so I just like the um the effects that they've applied to it. Like the very pretty and strange way the the headlights and the lights on the cars just kind of meld together and kind of streak everywhere. And the music's really good. So let's get into it. These it looks like there's four separate, I don't know what you call these, uh, shards, four separate memories, four separate parts of your brain, I don't know. But let's just start with the one all the way on the left, the next hurdle. This is the dream where I find my old teddy bear wedged under a weight. Save the teddy bear. Okay, so the control scheme for the game and the way you kind of navigate around is very interesting. Also, I have to say, it's very strange that I'm dreaming about a teddy bear wedged under a gigantic sphere that looks like it belongs in some sort of ancient civilization. It's a very strange dream, but then again, dreams typically are pretty strange, aren't they? But yes, the way you navigate around is very interesting. It's, it's kind of told through photographs, as you can hear. When you move around, you can hear the sound of, like you're setting up to take a picture. The beep of a camera. And when you click. So what you're seeing when you mouse over and you hear that beep is a ghostly image of what the next image you're about to see is. 
So you can see stuff from different angles. And I noticed that in the intro video you see a camera on the passenger seat. So I'm guessing she was a photographer, or at least into photography. It seemed like a pretty good camera too. So yeah, the camera mechanism is, I guess, a theme. All right, so let's take a look at this teddy bear. I find my old teddy bear. I need to get it out from under this weight. Need to save Teddy. There's a photo over here. I can paint this symbol to move back. And that's one of the other interesting things about the ways you navigate is that there's a gesture system. You can paint on the screen. I decide to take a look around. Which is really interesting. I can only think of two other games off the top of my head that have a gesture sort of system. And that is, what was it called? I think it was called Arx Fatalis and The Void. There's not a lot of games that have done that. It's very interesting. And I think there's going to be other gestures that come in later. But we'll have to see. This is the extent of what I've played so far, just to make sure the game works and all of that. So everything from here on out is new. Yeah, the way you navigate around is... It's pretty cool. I like how it's tied into the narrative with the whole camera thing. It's a little bit confusing though, because when you when you mouse around like this, it's kind of hard to see exactly what you're going to be looking at when you click, but it's still pretty cool. It's interesting. I've never seen it before. Let's take a look at the sky. What is that? There is a storm cloud in the night sky. Might be raining. I'm in the mood for rain. Sometimes I am as well. Isn't it funny when you're depressed how attractive rain is? Ooh. Looks like a nasty storm. That looks very strange. I've never seen a sky like that. Alright, let's take a look around. What is this? Is this a... Uh, like a... place with a lot of stores? I don't know what you call it. A shopping... I... I don't know. This looks like the place I used to eat lunch at when I went to law school. Strange. I never went there at night. Hmm. And it is night. I see someone in there. Can I go inside? What's the name? Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I want to go inside. I don't think I can, though. No. I find more spheres. I remember now. I think it was me who stacked them there. That's strange. I guess that's one of those dreamlike things where you remember doing something, or you remember something being a certain way, but you can't remember why. There's no logical connection, there's no lead up to it, you just know something is true. Looks like they have gestures on them. I think I remember drawing this symbol. I need to find a sphere without that sign. Oh, well I guess I do it on the one that is over the teddy bear. I need to find a sphere without that sign. You know what's interesting about these gestures? Is that they look like... Whoa. What? Oh. I think I just I think I just accidentally discovered a new gesture. Turn around. Is that turn around? It is. Okay. Huh. Interesting. What I was going to say is, it's interesting that the gestures actually look like, kind of like, car headlights. It looks very similar to the style. The stylization of the headlights that we saw in the introduction video. Doesn't it? Like streaking lights. Hmm. So I guess you can just use gestures to move around if you want, you don't have to click. Sweet. 
so many of these things. Oh, it's a photo. On top of the... Near the top of the street lamp. It's a strange place for a photo. My first day at school. I didn't realize how many more would follow. Hmm, what is she holding? I can't tell what she's holding. Alright, let's move the ball. Alright, so the symbol is what, like this? Yeah. I always think that lifting another of those weights will save me. I even hold on to this hope as I'm drowning. Again. Do you think I can be back home this month? Maybe. It depends on your progress. There is an exam in three weeks. I've been preparing for it for quite some time. There will always be another exam. I believe you should focus on your well-being first. Am I not doing that? Alright, so it looks like that was the first, the whole first memory, or the first fragment. What this is, view discoveries. Okay, hold on, there's obviously way, way more. Two of nine photos found. Alternative endings. A coffee with the Nighthawks, swallow the skyscraper and find the fruits. So there's apparently other stuff you can do. Should I go back? Maybe there's other stuff you can do if you know more gestures or what? Because I'm not sure what else I could have done. Let's, um, let's move ahead. And then if I learn more gestures. Or if I, or if I can think of something, I'll think of coming back. Alright, following role models. This is the dream where I am chasing a ghost. Is it the ghost? That light? Grass everywhere. Since I started chasing ghosts, I neglected this place. I neglected this place. So this is a place of her own creation. It's a place she needs to... She feels like she... Needs to tend to? Hmm. It's a box. It's a rather strange box. What is that, some air holes or something? It almost looks like a drain. Hmm. Wait, what if I what if I do this symbol? No, I didn't do anything. I didn't think it would. Hold on, what is this? Oh, it's because of the same one. There's another one up here I'm seeing. This one? No. I think it's this this one. I used to be able to get up there somehow. I don't think I will be able to now. Ooh, there's a photo. I can paint this symbol to move back. I, that's the one I already know, right? Yeah. Oh, I guess they have that there because if you didn't start the first memory, if, if this was the first one you started, you'd still need to know that. It 
it seems like I have always been chasing that ghost. I even forgot who he is. <laughs> chasing after something and forgetting what it even originally was. That's sad. There's a bunch of photos here. When I was little, the ghost used to be a different person. I would collect pictures of him on a wall, like trophies. Yep, following role models. Looks like it's suggesting I should trace around them. Uh, it's got the, the symbol for doing it, but it looks like it's way too small for me to do. I can capture the ghost like this. I just need him to stand still. Oh, so that's how you capture them. You just trace around their upper body. Whoops, I just turned around. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. Alright, how do I move over here to the right? I can't seem to do it. Oh, wait a minute. Strange allowed me to turn even though I couldn't find a photo to move over there. Huh. Alright, so that's a wall explored. Oh, there's a photo. Can draw this symbol to turn right. So, can you turn right with this symbol even when you have nothing to click on? Like, what about here? I can't click on anything. But let's try. No. At least, not always. Let's go forwards. I can see the outlines of a person. What is that? Whoa. Where did I just go? Hold on, let's go back. Alright, so that's forwards. That's off some other place. What's here to the right? What a magnificent place. Why have I forgotten about it? I'm looking behind me. Alright. Let's... Oh, wait, what about up here? These machines were meant to do some heavy work. But they are of no use for catching ghosts. Very true. I think I saw a photo back there. I'll check it out in a second. Look at it just towering over me. Yeah, there's a little photo. It's so small, but I can see you. I found a photo of a storm cloud. When you hold it upside down, it looks like a whirlpool. That's a photo from back in the last memory. Okay, where am I now? I want to go back to where I was. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is what I wanted to take a look at. It's another one of those. I could lift it up using the same symbol. It doesn't look like it has one. Just two angles? Just two. Hmm. Alright, let's try the symbol. Was that it? Yeah. I managed to lift the weight. 
just like before the ghosts arrived. Oh, was that one of the endings? Was it an alternative ending? Whoops, discoveries. Oh. Okay, it's one of the endings. Interesting that you can go back and end it in multiple ways. Open the crate. Oh, you can open the crate. Okay. Look behind the shrub. I wonder what that one is. Alright, so I did one of the alternative endings first. Interesting, I didn't expect that. Alright, let's go back. We're definitely going back. Um, how do I exit this? Oh, there we go. Okay, back into it. This is the dream where I am chasing a ghost. It seems like I have always been chasing that ghost. I even forgot who he is. Okay, so I've explored that, I've explored up there. I've explored to the right, so let's just keep chasing the ghost. What a magnificent place. Why have I forgotten about it? Ah, there's a photo. It's so embarrassing remembering your childhood idols. What did I admire them for? <laughs> I know, if you think back to the people you admired as a kid, sometimes you think, Oh God, why? Why? These machines were meant to do some heavy work. They are of no use for catching ghosts. There's another one. I wasn't into music until my mom bought me my first album. Like there's no more left over there. How about right? Nope. Let's keep chasing the ghost. But even a ghost can have a moment of weakness. Following his steps, at some point I realize I'm going in circles. I need to find an end to this. I need to find an end to this. Hmm. How would I do that? When I was little, the ghost used to be a different person. I would collect pictures of him on a wall, like trophies. Alright, well she said even a ghost can have a moment of weakness. Perhaps... Whoops. Perhaps they need to go find him at that moment and then trace over his outline. Right... here? No. Uh, it doesn't really seem big enough for me to do that... that thing. I don't know. This is when the ghost is weak. I'm gonna capture you. 
Do I trace over your whole body? I don't think this is what you're supposed to do. I'm gonna try it one more time anyway. No, that's not gonna work. It's too big. What if I do this? Lift you up. Hmm. And I wonder about opening the box. Grass everywhere. Since I started chasing ghosts, I neglected this place. What do you look at this I one, right? Child, no. I didn't like playing with dolls. I preferred building towers. Hmm. Building towers is fun. Building anything is fun. And I wonder how you open this box. There's gotta be a gesture. I know this one doesn't work, right? What would be like an opening symbol? That wasn't even close. I have no idea. I guess I'll need to find the gesture first. That or try your random things. Hmm. I used to be able to get up there somehow. I don't think I will be able to now. What if you need to come back to this memory when you know more gestures? I need to find an end to this. How would I find an end? I'm thinking about the tracing over your idol thing. There's obviously something you do. It's very suggestive that you need to do that, but where would I do that? I can capture oh. the ghost like this. Mm. I just need him to stand still. Okay, yeah, I need him to stand still. So where do I find him standing still? But that moment of weakness seems like like it, but Oh, maybe I don't need to literally trace over them, but I just need to do that symbol. It's just a gesture. It's it's literally a gesture that you don't actually trace over them. That's that's probably it. I'm probably overthinking it. After all, all the other gestures are not. You know, it's just the one gesture. It's not like you're tracing over anything in the environment. Uh so what is it? It's like the shoulders and then the head and then was it? Close enough. I captured the ghost, but I realized the only thing holding this place together was my own ambition. So I let go. What about your parents? They used to be my role models. They aren't anymore? I don't know. They have aged since then. I think parents are never too old to be role models for their children. But what if I am too old? You know, the interesting thing I'm realizing about the way this whole game is framed is that even though it takes place within her mind, following a car crash, it's not really about the car crash at all, is it? It's really just about her. And what's been going on in her life. She sounds... she seems very depressed. So there's two more endings and three more photos. Let's go to the next one. 
what they expect. This is the dream where I am supposed to follow this road. Hmm. Supposed to do what you're told. Well, I tend to do the opposite of what I'm told. Which is probably what I'm about to try. Follow the road, hmm? Don't remember going this way. Makes no difference anyway. I can draw this symbol to move back. Can I go forwards? Whoa. What just... Where did I just go? That's weird. And going forwards, I actually went backwards. Hmm. Well, I'm supposed to follow the main road. So instead, let's go off to the right. Actually, wait a minute, what is this? There's one here, there's one here, and then there's one here. This has got to be the main road, so what is this? Maybe it's not. If, what the heck? That is not doing what I thought it would. And what is that? Something was sucked into this train. Ah. Hold on, is there a list of... Alright, so there isn't a list of gestures. Maybe I should write some of these down. I'm going to write down the gestures. There's that one, there's that one. And then the drain one is... Okay, so I can go back and do that. On the last level. On the box. In fact, before I forget, let's go do that right now. This is the dream where I am chasing a ghost. Grass everywhere. Since I started chasing ghosts, I neglected this place. Right, so it's like... there. Yeah. Yep. I used to be able to get blood from a stone. At least I tried. Well, I didn't expect that to be inside of the box. This is the dream where I am supposed to follow this road. Alright. Let's go off to the side. Oh, there's another drain. They are good at telling you where to go. That's what signs are for. What is that up there? They really want you to know your way. It looks like the ghost again. It's a neat world, but it's not made for living. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can identify with that feeling too. Something was sucked into this train. Where did it go? Need to find a train that isn't clocked yet. I like how you can look at the same thing from so many different perspectives.
There's something very fun about that. Alright, let's take a look at this tree. The trees seem artificial. Do they? Hmm. It's a photo of what I think is a fruit tree. Cut. What is that? Is that what was here? And now it's been replaced by something fake? Oops. What is this? Once again, a very different angle. Ooh, what is that? It's a tiny version of one of those spheres. Can I do the same symbol? Even the problems here are small. But they spread to grow elsewhere. That's one of the endings, isn't it? It is. I found a tiny problem. Yeah. Those are problems. This is Weights that you can lift off. Where I am supposed to follow this road. The trees seem artificial. Hello. I think there's something behind this shrub. Behind the shrub? Wasn't that the name of one of the endings? One of the alternative endings in one of these? One of these memories? Mm, how do I look behind it, though? I guess I need to go out to the street. They really want you to know your way. Let's go out to the street. It's a neat world, but it's not made for living. Which one was it? Which shrub? Hmm. I don't know. Well, maybe I'll come back to that. Another wall. But this one is invisible. Hmm. Looks like I'm going against the flow. This arrow is pointing towards me. It's saying go the other way. Something was sucked into this train. Need to find a train that isn't clocked yet. This photo... There is something on top of a pole. Oh, is that telling me what gesture I should do? The others were saying cut. I don't I don't know any sort of a cutting gesture, but lift I do know. Hmm. Well, I th yeah, I think it's a hint. Is it for this one though, or is it for one of the other memories? I don't really recognize something like that. Maybe I saw something like that in the last memory. With all the industrial equipment.
I thought they wanted me to follow the road. Why did they make it so difficult? It just ends in a wall, and there's a drain. I can draw this symbol to turn around. U-turn. Well, let's use the drain, I guess. Hello there, drain. Wait. Nope, just did it wrong. Let's try that again. Despite its solid appearance, the barrier turns out to be tenuous. Well, that's a very helpful little drain. Apparently it can suck up reality itself. Well, actually not really, because this isn't reality. It's a dream. I have pretty much no idea what any of this says. It's so stylized, I can't even really read it. Plus, I think the pictures were actually taken in Germany. So it might not even be in English. Oh, hello. At the beginning, I was very happy at law school. It seemed like such a good idea. But only because it wasn't mine. So I guess that's the road I'm on right now. Doing what I'm told. Going to law school because I've been told to. Because I'm expected to. Isn't that sad? Isn't that such a sad thing? Knowing that people all over the place, in the past and right now, are going to school and forming their entire careers, which form their entire lives. And what they're doing is not something that they really want to do. They're just doing it because, say, their parents expect them to. Isn't that sad? To think you're going to spend probably your entire life doing something you don't really want to do. I find that incredibly sad. The other side of the tunnel feels oddly familiar. myself running in circles, but I didn't take a wrong turn. The world is just too small. How long should I expect to stay here? There are no expectations. Isn't that what good doctors are supposed to give? Hope? A perspective? Expectations can also belittle success. Facing expectations, the best you can hope for is to fulfill them. So, what am I supposed to do? the road less traveled. I still want to come back to these and do alternative endings and find other photos. But for now, let's continue on. The road less traveled.
This is the dream where I am looking for a hidden path. Find a path through the thicket. Ooh, there's a lot of pictures here. Looks like the music got a bit more disturbing, too. It's almost tense. They put up those billboards. Are they trying to cover up something with them? I only work so I can party on weekends. Ooh, what is that? It seems I'm not the first to look for a road less traveled. Maybe there is no such thing. Oh, is that the cut? That's gotta be the cut symbol, right? Let me write it down. This is how I cut my way. Mm -hmm. I will need this when I find a dead end. Okay, hold on. Let's go back. I don't even know where I'm at now. But there's a photo. Let's check it out. The symbol means to turn around. Okay, okay. So there's a billboard. Hmm, apparently I can't cut it. Can you cut a billboard? I don't know. It's a dream world after all. Why not? The road seems to go on forever. I see bridges. There must be other roads. My parents moved after I got my own place. I always forget that my old bedroom doesn't exist anymore. Somehow, I find myself above the road. I've climbed up. What am I even looking at? Where am I? Now I'm just lost. Can I cut this? This is how I cut my way. Hmm. I will need this when I find a dead end. It's a bizarre photo. Why is there a train on this box? Alright, so that's a hint at what to do in the other... other memories. I swear I can hear something burning. It sounds like the crackle of a fire. Hold on, before I go over there, I want to know what's here to the left. Or forwards. No, okay, I've already been here. After I get used to the dark, it starts hurting when I try looking back. Oh, these are some crazy angles. Alright, let's go to the right. I can draw this symbol to move back. Okay, it looks like I can cut this. I begin cutting my way. This is not a shortcut. It isn't? That's okay. I'm not trying to find a short way. I'm just trying to find something. Ooh, I see a f I thought that was a photo, but it might be a button of some sort. The path seems to go on forever. We shall see. 
It's just like the main road. It only takes more effort. That's okay. The easiest way isn't always the best way. It's one of those dreams that never ends. It seems to continue, even when I'm awake. With every heartbeat. Are you looking forward to going back home? I thought I did. I'm not sure anymore. Aren't you eager to continue? Doing what? You know, living. I guess not. I'm living now, aren't I? And there we go. It is quite short, as you can see, but I'm perfectly fine with that. But I'm not quite done, of course. Oh no, there's a lot more I can do, as you can see. A lot of things I did not discover. <laughs> there's a question mark that just flashed at the end of that. Is it the end? Indeed. Alright, well before talking about the end, let's continue to explore a bit more. There's quite a bit I can do, I know... Okay, I can do a lot of cutting here. This is the dream where I am supposed to follow this road. The trees seem artificial. I believe I can cut this. No? I remember there's a photo here that said cut. Maybe it's telling me to cut a different tree. It's a photo of what I think is a fruit tree. Okay, so wherever I can find that tree, I need to cut it. Yeah, when I see... Uh, where was that? Have I seen it? There's a big chunk in the last memory that I didn't do either. And said so I need to explore behind this. Maybe I can cut this. There's something behind this shrub. Okay, where would that be? Um, the color scheme, judging by the time of day. In that photo, I would say it's probably the last memory. It's kind of reddish and dark. It doesn't really fit the color scheme of this. They really want you to know your way. Another wall. Let's take a look around quickly. This one is invisible. I was looking for anything I recognize from the photos. It's a neat world, but it's not made for living. I thought they wanted me to follow the road. Hmm. Why did they make it so... Okay, I think the pictures probably don't show you things that you need to do in the level, but are rather for other levels. So let's go back to the last one, which has a big chunk of stuff I never looked at. 
I never went forwards. This is the dream where I am looking for a hidden path. They put up those billboards. Are they trying to cover up something with them? Make your troubles go away. Yeah. That's the best advertisement ever. I guess they didn't pay the advertising department very much, did they? Like, hmm, what's the best slogan we can come up with? Oh, I know. Yeah. Am I supposed to cut that? No. What if I do the drain symbol? They claim hmm. to have the answers. They don't even have the right questions. I have to admit, it's really fun to suck things into the drain. Let's see, the top of the pole. Okay. Follow the road more traveled. <laughs> this is the dream where I am looking for a hidden path. They put up those billboards. Are they trying to cover up something with them? Alright, so I never went through here. It seems I'm not the first to look for a road less traveled. Maybe there is no such thing. From time to time there is a clearance, but it's never comfortable enough to rest. It feels like I'm making a mistake. Hello. It's a photo of a crane. A crane is lifting something. Hmm. I've actually already done that one. This is how I cut my way. I will need this when I find a dead end. Oh, that's the... I think that's a lift thing right there. Right, the, the pole I saw in one of the photos. Somehow, I find myself above the road. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so I just kind of like went around. Uh, I can't look up at it, though. Unless, can I go here and then go left? No. Hmm. It's a bizarre photo. Look at these. Why is there a train on this box? It's a photo of a crane. Crane is lifting something. I can paint this symbol to move back. The symbol means to turn around. My parents moved after I got my own place. Oh, you pop up where you found the photo. That my hmm. old bedroom doesn't exist anymore. Others are traveling down the road. This place seems familiar. Is there a person sitting inside? Catch. Okay, that was from the first place, but how do you catch? Hmm. Maybe something like that? Like a bowl? I actually can't continue down this pathway. The road seems to go on forever. I'm pretty sure there's a pole I need to do something with here, but I don't know where. Like, I see a lot of poles, but I can't look up. Hmm. Okay, which one should I go to? 
the catch thing. I don't know the symbol for catch. But let's let's go try going back to the first one. This is the dream where I find my old teddy bear wedged under a weight. I decide to take a look around. Whoops. I mean, this looks like the place I would have the fruit tree, actually. What did I need to do with the fruit tree? Was it... It was cut, right? Yeah, I just need to find it. Oh, ooh, is it... I think this is it. Mm-hmm. I used to think my problems were man-made. But they seem to be multiplying on their own. Let's go back and go back to the person in the store this that's a dream catch. Where I find my old teddy bear wedged under a weight. I decide to take a look around. I find more spheres. I think I remember drawing this symbol. I find more spheres. Here we I go. Remember now. I think it was me who stacked them there. Alright, now what could be the symbol for catch? This looks like the place I used to eat lunch at when I went to law school. Strange. I never went there mm. at night. I don't know it. Catch. Catch. Oh, wait a minute. There's a photo over there, did I? I found a photo hmm. of a small seed lying in the grass. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the one I've already found, too. Hmm, where would I learn the symbol for catch? I really don't know what it could, what it could be other than this. I'm thinking like a bowl or something, but it doesn't work. Hmm. Alright, let's get some hints here. Swallow the skyscraper. What does that mean? Swall- could that be train? And a coffee with the Nighthawks. Swallow the skyscraper. Huh. And this one. Look behind the shrub. And there's three more photos. Let's try to find the shrub. I think I needed to cut it, right? Where I am chasing a ghost. It seems like I have always been chasing that ghost. I even forgot who he is. Oh, shrub! What a magnificent place. Why have I forgotten about it? Probably clicked on you, right? It's so embarrassing yeah. remembering your childhood idols. What did I admire them for? Hmm. Is it this one? No. I remember getting close. Chasing him gave me a sense of purpose. Where is the shrub? It's hiding from me. It doesn't want to be Even cut. Even a ghost can have a moment of weakness. Mm. Following his steps, at some point I realize I'm going in circles. I 
need to find an end to this. Grass everywhere. Since I started chasing ghosts, I neglected this place. I used to be able to get up there somehow. I don't think I will be able to now. I really don't know where that shrub should be. It felt like it should be somewhere over here, but... Where? Like, I see a shrub here, but I can't look to the right. It's a photo with one of those lens flares on it. People sometimes claim they are ghosts. Oh, I know exactly where that is. That's at the end of the last memory. We're going down the main pathway, but it says catch. I don't know how to catch. Where do I find that out? I must have missed it somewhere. here. Hmm. I don't know. One more look down here. That's weird. Sometimes when you go forwards, it actually goes backwards. I have no idea why. It feels like it's this shrub, but I can't go towards it. I remember seeing one of these bars next to it. Like one of these red bars, but... I can't look at any shrub next to them, other than this one, which doesn't work. Maybe you need to look... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there it is. <laughs> you need to look behind you. Got to go the other way. I think I was working on something important here. How did I get distracted? There's a heart behind the shrub? Strange. Whoa. Photographic sense acquired for following role models. What does that mean? Is it just because I discovered all the endings? I guess I'm not really sure what that means. But cool. Okay, this catch thing. I need this catch thing. Catch. This is the dream where I am looking for a hidden path. Actually, hold on. I forgot to check the the names for the different endings. Because that helps a lot. At the top of the pole. So there is a pole here. Somewhere. And follow the road more travel. Okay, so follow the road more travel is probably the one that uses the catch at the end of the main, the main pathway. But the top of the pole is something else. Let's try to find the pole, and hopefully in doing so, somehow find catch. This is the dream where I am looking for a hidden path. Oh, catch! Wait a minute, catch is the... Oh, right. That's the name of the... What's the symbols? Like, that. Sort of, yeah. The road I forgot. <laughs> Go on forever. Okay, it's related to people, yeah. Some people say they're like ghosts. Others like this. Are traveling down the road. I once tried to follow the road. I was moving. But I never got anywhere.
Alright, so we can go back to the first one and now use catch. This is the dream where I find my old teddy bear wedged under a weight. I decide to take a look around. This looks like the place I used to eat lunch at when I went to law school. That, how, I'm, how do you do that symbol correctly? I never went there. It's time. like that, and then there we go. In my dreams, it is always night. It is lonely. It's my favorite time. Let's go back here and let's look for the pole. This is the dream where I am looking for a hidden path. I see bridges. There must be other roads. They put up those billboards. Are they trying to cover up something with them? And what was I supposed to do with the pole? Was it lift? I'm not sure, but I... The road seems to go on forever. Somehow, I find myself above the road. I feel like it was up here. Can I cut this? This is how no. I cut my way. I will need this when I find a dead end. Seems I'm not the first to look for a road less traveled. Maybe there is no such thing. Yeah, it's probably behind me, is what I'm guessing. Like that looks like it might be it. Right there. But I can't look up. Draw this symbol to move back. Pressing on never stops feeling like a mistake, but after some time, even backtracking does. I'm not really sure where it is. Ah, this just goes to the end. I begin cutting my way. Yeah, there's no poles out here. This place seems familiar. Is there a person sitting inside? Others are traveling down the road. There's a pole here. Okay, take a look at these. I can draw this symbol to Take a look at the photos. Out. Let's see if there's any I haven't done. This symbol means to move back. It's a photo of done. a crane. The crane done. is lifting something. Done. It's a bizarre photo. Why is there a train? I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get all of these too easily. I don't wanna like I don't wanna like grind them for hours or something just to try to find them. I want to keep going so long as I'm curious enough, and there's enough to do, but as soon as it becomes something where I'm just like beating my head against a wall trying to find, you know, one of these little fragments, then it becomes not worth it, but I'm not quite there yet, I still want to keep going. Alright, In the Trees and the Sign Maker. Hmm. Swallow the skyscraper. All right, let's go back to the first one. Let's try the skyscraper and let's look at the photos that we have. This is the dream where I find my old teddy bear wedged under a weight. 
I decide to take a look around. I remember we could see the skyscraper somewhere around here. Is it here? No. I find more spheres. I remember now. I think it was me who stacked them there. Is it here? Oh. I didn't get this before. I found a photo of an advertisement. Hmm. I think it's some sort of a drain cleaning agent. Alright, that one I've already done. Skyscraper, skyscraper, skyscraper. Oh, have I seen that one too? I can paint this symbol hmm. to turn right. I have not. The symbol means to turn around. I'm not really quite looking at the skyscrapers. Wherever I could see the sky. Uh, is it here? There's oh, here we go. There's a storm cloud in the night sky. Might be raining. Okay. I'm in the mood for rain. It was called like... Oh, it's like a... Yeah, I, I, it's kind of like a drain. In fact, it, it is. It does look like a drain up there, doesn't it? Okay, so I'd probably do the drain symbol. Looking at the rigid concrete, I wish something would stir this place up. Goodbye, skyscraper. Photographic sense. It's amazing, I've found all the endings, but I'm still missing three of the photos. Hmm. Wait, did I even look at the photos? I didn't think I looked at the photos, did I? No, I didn't. Let's check and make sure there's this no. Is the dream hints. where I find my old teddy bear wedged under a weight. I can draw this symbol to move back. Done. I found a photo. Can draw this symbol to turn right. And done. I can paint this symbol. Alright, this one. Found everything. Let's take a look at the photos again. I mean, found all the endings. I haven't found all the photos, of course. This is the dream where I am chasing a ghost. It's a photo with one of Done. those lens flares on it. People sometimes claim they are ghosts. When I was a child, I can draw this symbol to Done. move back. I wasn't into music until my mom bought me my first album. Hmm. It's the one I've done the worst on when it comes to the endings. In the trees and the sign maker. Let's go into it. Let's explore around a bit, see if we can find some new photos. In the trees and the sign maker. This is the dream where I am supposed to follow this road. Oh, wait a minute. The sign maker. I think I know what that one is. You could see a person above a sign. I could probably use catch. Okay, where was that? Don't remember going this way. Makes no difference anyway. I think it was up here and on the right. Yeah. They're good at telling you where to go. They really want you to know your name. Nope. Way. They think they are showing you a way. But all they do is set up yet another hoop to jump through. Okay, in the trees. And the trees and the top of the pole. I 
I can't find that damn pole. Let's try to find the trees. This is the dream where I am supposed to follow this road. Now, I'm thinking in the trees probably Another has something road. to do with this. This one is invisible. The trees seem artificial. But what would it be in the tree? I don't think it'd be drain. Or lift. Wait, did that, did that work? Oh, it did. They are always watching me. Because it is never about me, it is all for them. Okay, that just leaves one ending undiscovered in the road less traveled. The top of the pole. Where is the damn pole? And there is the picture of it in one of these other places, right? But I thought I just checked all the other places and I didn't see a picture of it. Unless it was in the one this I just is visited. The dream where I am looking for a hidden path. The symbol means to turn around. I can draw this symbol Done. to move back. Done. It's a photo of a crane. Done. A crane is lifting something. Okay, hold on. This is the dream where I am supposed to follow this road. I can paint this symbol to turn around. It's a photo of what I think is a fruit tree. Okay. I can paint this symbol to move back. Lift. In this photo, there is something on top of a pole. Right, so it's a pole and there's those balls. The balls of the spheres of... Um, burden. Basically. Now look at the color scheme. Which one was it? I think it's the last one. The last memory, right? Hmm. I think there's something behind this shrub. Yeah, let's compare the sky that I saw in there to the sky in the road less traveled. This is the dream where I am looking for a hidden path. I see bridges. There must be other yeah. roads. Somehow, I find myself above the road. It seems I'm not the first to look for a road less traveled. Maybe there is no such thing. It's these, but I can't look up. From time to time, there is a clearance. But it's never comfortable enough to rest. It feels like I'm making a mistake. This is how I cut my way. I will need this when I find a dead end. Yeah, I'm close to them, but I need just the right angle. I mean, I could try lifting right now, I suppose. No. Pressing on never stops feeling like a mistake, but after some time, even backtracking does. I need just the right angle. Hello, camera. That's your shadow. After oh, I get what used I just do? to the dark, it what did I just hurting do? when I try looking back. I don't even know where I just went. Oh, they're right there. Oh, 
Ooh, ooh, there we go. Gotcha. What did I just do? I press, oh God, turn around. What? Oh no. I had it. Where, where did it take me? Why you do this game? Oh wait, 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 here we go. Okay. Out here, everything seems out of reach. My dreams, my hopes. But then even my fears. Okay, well. I have not discovered all of the pictures, and all of them, but I have discovered all of the endings. So I don't want it to get too grindy, so I think I'm going to leave it there, actually. I'm okay with not having found all the pictures, it's okay. That's most of it. Alright, so let's dig into it a bit, I'm going to analyze it a bit. Let me get my post-game stretch in, as always. Oh, oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Also, I just have to comment that my tea is now cold, which is very unpleasant. Mm. Ugh, cold tea. Terrible. Just terrible. Anyway. Okay, I actually really enjoyed it. I did. I like it. So that's my overall impression. I really like it. It does have some strange stuff, but... Overall, I definitely like it. So... I like the... I like the overall framework of it, of it being... Uh, taking place inside of this woman's mind. After she's just been in a car accident. And you're just exploring her... her thoughts. Her troubles, her worries. It's just a very nice way to explore what's going on inside of someone's head. I mean, really, what better way? What a great way to explore what's going on in someone's head. It's their... it's their dreams. You know, what's in your dreams? It's, well, it's a mixture of all of your own thoughts and your... your memories and everything. And because it's a dream world, you're totally free to do pretty much whatever you want. So it offers you a lot of freedom as well. To, uh, yeah, just do whatever you want inside of these dream worlds. So I think it's a really interesting and well done framework for being able to explore a character's thoughts. So I really like that. I like the the novel control scheme where you use gestures to go around and and interact with things and you kind of move around by like taking pictures basically you're moving to another picture and every single time it takes a it makes the sound of a camera clicking that's really nice it's like snapshots it once again it plays into the overall framework of the game taking place inside of a dream world inside of your own head it's it's snapshots you know it's memories of things which is really nice yeah overall it just has a feel of consistency about it of how the whole thing works. It just, everything kind of fits in the way everything's pictures and their snapshots and their memories. I like it. The music is very good. Uh, the voice acting is also quite good. I mean, she, uh, the voice actor for the main character is, well, she certainly doesn't have a lot of charisma but that is, I think, entirely intentional because she's obviously someone who's very depressed, so it perfectly fits. You wouldn't expect someone who is depressed to be very cheery. And she is indeed not. She sounds like she's pretty much given up on life and has no hope, which is what her character seems to be experiencing. So it's perfect. Yeah, it's just... I just liked how... How it used the interaction 
of, like, how it used, how it let you loose inside of her mind, basically, to kind of root around and click on stuff and interact with stuff and use that as a means of exploring what's going on in her head. I really like that. You know, you solve a puzzle, and the puzzle is entirely connected to what she's going through. You're lifting the the burden, the, the strange sphere that somehow represents burden. You lift it off of her teddy bear. And then she talks about what she's thinking at that moment, like what that means to her. So every puzzle that you do is completely connected to what's going on in the story, which is something that is often lacking in adventure games. There's a lot of puzzles that just don't really make any sense. They're just kind of in there, and they don't have a lot to do with the story. But in this case, every single puzzle has everything to do with the story. It's all connected, very concretely. Which, actually, I think I think some of them are connected a little bit too concretely, to be frank. And by that, I mean, I think it's kind of... One of the things that didn't quite work for me is that it seemed... Uh, to me, it was too... It was sometimes too over the top and not really subtle enough with... Kind of the, the metaphors or the meanings of what you're looking at. Like these these burdens... Or these, these challenges that you're lifting off. And just what she was saying about them always... Like there's always more or... Or something like that. Like you never... You know, she's never unburdened. And... Just kind of what... I'm not explaining this very well. It, sometimes it just felt like it explained exactly what everything represented too much. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Like it's so... It's so obvious she, she practically says it. Like, this is, you know, like, this thing represents this to me, and that's exactly what it is. I felt like it went a little bit over the top with that. I would have liked it to have more subtlety. You know, I felt like I could have got that without it practically telling me what all of these things meant. I would have liked to piece it together myself. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's a term to describe that that I'm trying to get at, that I'm failing to say so yeah I think it might go a little bit over the top for me in how obvious it makes the connections but at the same time I do appreciate the fact that all of the puzzles every single one is actually directly connected to exactly what the entire game is about that's very nice another thing worth mentioning is that the way the game is set up is that you have all these different endings and you have all these other photos that you're you can't you just can't even get them in one playthrough. You can only get one ending at a time. So at the absolute least, you're going to be playing through it four times, each one, to get all of the endings, which... I don't know, I suppose that's fine. I mean, there's nothing necessarily wrong with that. And I did them. As you saw, I got all of the different endings, because I was interested in what they would reveal about the character's mind, about her, her thought process, about her character. You know, I wanted to know more about what she's what she's going through, and what she's thinking. However, since it does force you to replay, it does lead to the awkward... kind of situation. It leads to a kind of awkward flow, because every single time you start one of these, like... this... This is the dream where I find my old teddy bear wedged under a weight. Yeah, so you're... If you want to find the alternative endings, you have to restart the whole thing, and... it has all of the same... Um, all of the same uh, voice clips from before. You know, it's almost as if you didn't even play it at all. So as you're, so you're probably going to be going through the level really fast to get to wherever you want to go. Which means you're kind of left in an awkward position of you kind of... It's kind of annoying that she's talking because, you know, you've already done this stuff before. You've already heard her say these things. You've already experienced this part of the game, and you're just playing through it to get to, like, one part. To get one of the other endings. So it's, it kind of hurts the flow a little bit. It hurt the flow for me. Because it was just kind of awkward. Like, I didn't want... I, I felt like I was disrespecting the game by not paying attention to what she was saying, but at the same time, it was kind of annoying that she was talking again. Because I'd already heard it. And the fact that you have to go through that to get the alternative endings. And every single time you get an alternative ending, it... Uh, kicks you back to the menu and you have to do it again 
It's kind of awkward. So that's a little bit strange. Um, another thing worth mentioning, which I think is just... Uh, it's pretty minor, but... The, um, the assets, like the resolution of the images, are surprisingly low. I mean, the game is running at 1080p. Yeah, it's actually it's running at 1080p. However, you can tell that the images are being upscaled. Which is kind of sad, because I know... Because the images, like, the imagery is, in general, just very good looking. However, when you upscale it, you end up seeing... Like, I can see a lot of compression artifacts, and... Everything is very blurry. Which I think is kind of a shame, because I know the source material that this person was working from must have been higher quality. It must have been. Unless it was like a 2 megapixel camera that they were working with. You know, must have been pretty high resolution images. So it feels kind of sad that it's been compressed so far down. I imagine it's probably a result of the fact that this game is... It's made to run in a browser and it runs in Flash. So I'm guessing the assets were kind of scaled more towards viewing it on a very small screen. That's my guess, and the downloadable version, which is what I have here, at least it should be the downloadable version, after all I did download it, <laughs> it better be. Um, the downloadable version is supposed to have higher quality assets, but yeah, I would, I would have definitely liked to see even higher quality assets. I don't know, it may be a case of perhaps the developer had intended it only to be viewed on small screens. Maybe they hadn't intended to make a high quality version, and so all of the assets were like, all of the digital modifications to the original source images were made at a very low resolution. So even though the original source photos were high, maybe the digitally retouched versions were relatively low quality. And so changing all of that would have been a huge hassle. I don't know. There's a lot of things that could have been. But yeah, I'm a little bit sad that they're lower quality than they should be, because they're obviously very beautiful. I mean, let's just get into one and just look around. This is the dream where I am supposed to follow this road. Yeah, I mean, it's just really pretty. So it's a shame that it's such low resolution. I've seen... There's some. There's a lot of cases where there's a, a source material that you know is good. You know is really good. But it's just been overly compressed to the point where it kind of makes you sad. Like, for example, the uh, the music from the game Indigo Prophecy is very good, I think. Uh, not, not the licensed music, but the original soundtrack that's included in it. I remember listening to the music and, you know, I actually, I actually seeked the music out and started listening to it, and I could tell the source material was very good. You know, the, the composition was good. It was really good. But it's just been compressed. It's just been compressed to hell. To the point where it just sounds, just, you know, not very good. And it made me so sad, because I thought, like, people paid tens of thousands of dollars to commission the soundtrack. And it's been performed by maybe dozens of people. You know, it's kind of orchestral. And then someone professionally mixed it and all of that. And then at the very last step, someone compressed it down so that it could fit onto, I don't know, a disc or a, C or a DVD or whatever. And then it's just not nearly as good. Yeah, it makes me sad. So same sort of situation here. The source material is obviously very good looking. It's just relatively low resolution. But it's a pretty minor thing. That is pretty minor. Yeah, the only other thing I can really think of is that... And this kind of ties in with... Um, the overall framework of the game and what I like about it. Which is, what I like about it so much is that it explores... The mind of this person kind of literally and kind of figuratively at the same time, I guess, because you're kind of inside of her mind. And it's also exploring her mind by just her talking as well. And just talking about her thoughts. And I really like that. Um, however, the game feels... It feels like it didn't explore that... very in-depth to me. I would have liked to see it go a lot deeper into what's going on in her head. Like, I get the broad stroke. She's depressed. She's been... It looks like she was expected to go to law school, and she doesn't really care to do it. It's not her passion. And she just seems... She just seems 
dead. Sort of, sort of dead inside, really. So I get that. But I just wish it went more into depth. Into exactly what's going on in her head, and exactly what she has to deal with. It has the broad strokes down. But I just would have liked more detail into what she's going through. But going back to the thing about this being about her, and about her dealing with uh, depression and just living in general, that's what I like most about the game. There's not a lot of games that really deal with depression or just mental health issues in general. It's really quite rare, I think. And so it's nice to see that explored, even if it isn't explored um, you know, as in-depth as I'd like. It's still nice to just see it explored, because it's not very common. And it's such a shame that it's not explored more, because it's... I mean, it's something that almost everybody, that pretty much everybody has to deal with, to some degree or another. Just dealing with life, dealing with living. These thoughts of... Of what, inadequacy? Of being forced to do something you don't want to do? Of not being happy with where you're at in life? Of not caring? Of apathy? I mean, who can't identify with that? Like that photo where she was talking about law school. Which one was it? Let's, it should be here. This photo, there is something on top of a pole. Where is it? I can draw this symbol to move back. It's a photo of here we go. what I think is a fruit tree. I it's this one. I this symbol to turn around. At the beginning, I was very happy at law school. It seemed like such a good idea, but only because it wasn't mine. At the beginning, I was very happy at law school. It seemed like such a good idea, but only because it wasn't mine. At the beginning, Whoa, why is it, I was why is it keep very playing? happy at law school. St stop! Like such a good idea, but only because it wasn't mine. Okay, I, did, I don't know why I just played three times. But yeah, I really love this photo and her description of it. It seemed like a good idea, but only because it wasn't mine. That just... That really resonates with me. Yeah, that really resonates with me. You know, I know someone who's in the exact same sort of situation. Kind of. I get it. It's so sad, and so very human, and this, this is something that's not often explored in games. So yeah, that's what I like most about it. Is the exploration of these simple problems. Well, I don't know about simple, I don't know if simple's the right word. But of these, these problems that everyone has to deal with in one way or another. Although she certainly seems to have to deal with more of it than most. I wonder if she'll ever be happy. Hmm. But yeah, I guess I'll end it there. So overall, I quite like it. Again, it's... It's very good. It's certainly awkward in some ways. I think it's too... It was too... Uh, too obvious and explained too much of what everything kind of represented. It was kind of cheesy, basically. I guess is the overall word that could describe that. It was kind of cheesy. A little bit cheesier than I'd like it to be. Um, and there's some awkwardness with the flow, with how the whole replaying thing works. And, you know, the assets are unfortunately lower quality than... Than what would do them justice, because they're obviously very beautiful. Just fairly low resolution, unfortunately. Uh, so, yeah, it's got some things that could definitely be improved, but it's it's good. It really is good. I like it. Yeah. It's short, but... It resonates with me. Emotionally. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Trauma. Thank you for watching.